Recently, I've been trying my best to find a water solution to a new home that I'm building here in Africa. Today, I was told that this tool could be the solution to piercing the ground into the depths where you could easily find water. Today, I'm visiting a blacksmith so that we can sharpen this tool, so that we can use it at least to see if we'll be able to get some clean drinking water. Hey, uh, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing good. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this video from. My name is Nasto. Welcome and uh, welcome back to this uh, YouTube channel. Guys, today is uh, another beautiful day. We are here at our new home that we are trying to build block by block, brick by brick, cement after cement. Yeah, everyone here is trying their best so that we can have a beautiful home. Recently, I started uh, making here a borehole. We have a borehole here, guys. I'm so, I don't know if you can see inside. It's, yeah can see at least right now the bohol is uh, somehow very 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 deep it's uh, the deepest compared to the eh? yeah it's the deepest compared to the three that uh, we tried here yeah so we have Tata uh, Joel here she's the one assisting me yes you're saying this one has uh, has more hope ah oh, this one this one yeah you can see this at least this one is the deepest compared to the other ones that we have been trying, yeah? Mm. No, it's this side, eh? Yes. Sitting here, yes. I'm going to get the top here. Yes, I'm going to get the top. Yes, I'm going to get the top. Yes, I'm going to get the top. 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 Hapa hapa hivi. Yeah. Hapo ni mimi nimeachia tu hapo hivi. Eh yeah. e, nikasikia mwili umekataa. Oh. E, lakini ni sio tini ni kitu kinakataa kutoka. Yeah. Si ndio hayo yanabomoa hapo oh. hivi. Yeah. 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 haina dalili mbaya. Na. Yes. Lata mimi nimeona yenyewe hii imekuwa mm. ndefu kidogo. Kabisa compared na hizo zingine. Mm. This is the deepest. Na inaenda. Na inaenda. Yeah. Yeah. So, so thank you. Sikiona tumeanza kupata hiyo side hiyo sample ya mchanga huu. Yes. Acha Mungu wetu anatusikia. Okay, asante. Yeah, so here Mr. Joel is the one that is helping me in uh, finding water in this place. At least right now we have come through the hardest, softest rocks. Uh, lots of soil here. I'm very much hopeful that very soon guys we're officially going to get at least some water here in our compound. But he has a small problem. There is uh, a metal, it's called a ponge that he uses in uh, digging the borehole that is not that sharp. So we are going to somewhere. There's a blacksmith here in our village, guys. I'm taking you to that blacksmith so that we can go and explore how they make. Someone just told me that they make knives, they make uh, jembes, they make pangas, the traditional way. So we are going, me and you, to just go and see how these things are done so that we can also get to know also our wall here is bringing shape i believe now by tomorrow no one can even jump <laughs> across there you see this one has really grown up so by by tomorrow i believe we'll have a very tall wall fundi unasema kuanzia kama kesho hakuna mwenye ataruka kesho hakuna mwenye ataruka hapo hakuna mwenye ataruka Ah, yeah. Eh, hey, no, no, you yeah, can see, guys, guys, the wall is now yeah. 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 Na pila tutakuwa tumesha mimina. Tunangoja lendo sasa. Tunangoja lendo. Aya, funduwecha hapa kazi. Sao. Aya, so guys, that is also our mason here. He's just working diligently, ensuring that we have uh, a good uh, wall. We have been building for the past very many months. But things are taking shape. At least our home has started becoming like a, a real home. But for me, my greatest hope is at least we find water here. And then after we find water, we can build now a water tower maybe a water tower here so that you can be pumping at least the water that uh, comes from this borehole to store because our house here has a inside bathroom inside toilet but right now i can't even use them we have a kitchen a very well set 
with a very good taps but we can't even use them so that's why today i'm going uh to take that point let me show you what i'm talking about there is this metal here here point you got oh we are here also with uh, Ben Julius. Yes. yes. Nasto, we're How are here. You? Yes. I'm very good today. Yes. No, it's really shining here. Yeah, the sun yeah. is too hot. It's too hot. So yeah. we are just relaxing under the shade here mm. with Muse. Yeah. Having stories, you know. Muse always advise young people like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yes. So you have said you know somewhere yeah. where they they sharpen they this. sharpen this. You know, this this called points in our local language. Yes. But it's made of diamond. A very hard one of the hardest what metal metals Metal. yeah ah. you can't break this one you can't break it yeah it's very hard so there's a there's a traditional way on how they sharpen, sharpen it them. yeah and when it gets blunt you know when you, you go deep like them say how it's going deep yeah it's working so hard. so so hard so yeah. it becomes blunt, blunt. Yeah, blunt somehow so you want to they're not sharpened uh in the grinding no, with the no, grinding no. machine not in, in the grinding ah. we sharpen it locally with have you fire. been to that place yeah okay. yeah so guys, now we are going to visit our blacksmith. They are called blacksmiths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The real now blacksmiths, and uh, we'll be showing you how how these things are made. And maybe if we are lucky, we might find maybe they're making knives, pangas, yeah, sure. and everything there. So keep uh, posted, guys. So let's travel quickly, go to that place, and uh, see how things uh, unfold. Guys, <laughs> today I want to show you something that uh, I don't know if it's really fading off or i'm really worried that maybe in the next maybe even five years ten years to come such an advanced technology or rather an original technology technology will not be here i was just there uh some moments ago before i started this video but i'm just so happy just to see these young men learning these skills from uh, their fathers and i just wish we can find a way in which now we can uh, prevent this kind of uh, technology so i'm here with the uh, so this is a hut this is where the the black the black uh, blacksmith or rather the technology happens and uh, wow it's really on another level so ben julius yes are you excited i'm excited yes, yes. i'm yes. so excited you, know, you see the technique used here yeah it's somehow unique and yeah, I've, unique. Never, I've never seen it. So guys, you see, uh, this is our metal that we came with. It's uh, over there. And uh, this young man here, instead of using maybe the mouth to put pressure or other to, to light this fire, they have one metal here, a very long one. And they use this paper bag here just to light up the fire over there. So our metal is now being placed in the fire like that. And then now he will mold it into the desirable shape, shape that you want. You know, previously it was in a rectangle. Yeah, I think it's a pyramid. Pir no, <laughs> it was like a shape. I put it in the corner. This is the original shape that it was. Did you see? So we want it to change shape and uh, become now round. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want it now to have a round shape. So they're using the fire to melt that uh, metal. Yeah. You know, I've only been seeing these things in movies. I've never seen it like live live. You've never seen it live live? I've never seen it live Okay, live. me, I can say this This is the second time being here. The first time we came with Maja. And they were, they were trying to... They were making this kind the of jambes. jambes. Yeah, the jambes. And also the knives used to... To nini oh, to, yeah, to remove cassavas. Yeah, to we call them. Ile bisi ya cassava ni toni. Ile bisi ya kumeni ya cassava ni toni. Kohara miogo. Ile bisi ya kum. Kohara miogo. Ile meji punja ibi. Ni toni. Kaki kuri. Ibi kib. Ibi Oh. <laughs> yeah. There, there are some knives that we use here in our village uh, for removing the covers of uh, cassavas. Yeah. Usually in a. Uh, like a crescent a shape, yeah. curved shape. So this is the place where they also make them. So for today, we are going to see how they are molding our metal. Yeah. 
into a into an amazing shape just using fire you know maybe for me i was thinking maybe we'll go to a, an electric place I like the, <laughs> yeah, where they just grind the metal no but I, the I man, really don't think if the electric place we have can can shape that metal of ours to, to the right way that the man wants it yeah. to be i think this is the best place that's why he directed has to come at this place okay. because he knows how they mm. they trim and sharpen it. Yeah. yeah. So when I look through the technology, hey. I mean, if you na babu yangu, babu yaku. And then you wanna go there and ask them to pan on it and then they say they're going to do it. Papa say he make you a stand on it and then they say they're going to do it. You wanna Eh, you just wanna do it and then they say they're going to do it. Ah. Eh, now why you think you're yeah, guys, uh, this guy said uh, that he learned this technology through the grandfather. He used to come this place, maybe sit like uh, the other boy is doing. I'm very sure very soon also they will be learning this to see how now the car is like it. <laughs> yeah, so he makes knives, uh, jambes like this one here. Jambes like this one. He shapes them into the desirable the de uh, oh. desirable uh, shape that you want. So challenge kubu ina kuanga ni gani? Hapa. Eh. Hapa challenge ni mingi hapo na napata una gonga hiyo chuma. Eh. Ukuta jigonga mkono. Eh. Ama sometimes unafanya ukisho jikuta na inakukata. Eh. Yeah, so hapa challenge challenge ni mingi. Kuna glove yenye natumia. Ah ah. Mkono tu. Mkono tu hivyo tu ndio natumia. Kuna tangaza tu. Yeah. So he says maybe the challenges that they usually find here. Is for example you can be hitting because they use those uh, hammers there sometimes you can just be hitting them and then maybe you hit your finger or sometimes you can be maybe sharpening a knife it cuts you this is something like this this is what we use in uh, weeding our shamas yeah? yeah yeah this is it's a jambe guys this is a for example you know weeding uh, with with or sorghum yeah you don't use just a normal normal gem yes they have to be very uko na nyenye labda ziko kwa nyumba kwenye metengeneza as you mentioned was mesha sasa unatengeneza kwa order ama unapeleka hata sokoni hapa ni kwa moda benki unatengeneza kuna pereka na pereka sambas oh yeah so he usually makes them and then maybe sells in uh, the markets especially in the big market especially during uh, market days so he takes them there so ile expensive kabisa yenye unatengenezanga ni gani ile yenye unauzanga pesa mingi hizi majembe hizi oh majembe hizo oh hii ni chuma tu unatumia hadi unaigonga na kwa hiyo hii ona ndio hiyo ndio na hii hii ndio na kuanga sio jembe hiyo aina hii ndio ni flat na kuja hivi inaleta shape eh sio naona homa shimo ndio sio naona amekunja eh ukweli ya guys you see like you see there's a hole here so this is what he he makes this until it's flat like uh, this yeah so that's how now he works it's not an easy job it really requires you to have uh, some very hard knowledge Ben Julius, you know, yeah. <laughs> I think his grandfather was a very professional man. Yeah, yeah? and you should, uh, you, sh you must be very strong because yeah. that, that's nini is not the, the metal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not uh, easy to hit it into yeah. a desirable. No, they don't cut any. Yeah, they don't. Cut. Like there's no metal that is maybe removed. They only mold it. Mold. Yeah, they only mold it manually. Yeah, manually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he has again to return it into the fire. Ah. Yeah, so he makes his own charcoal. You see these are the places where he gets uh, maybe the charcoal. Let me show you guys. So you know they they remove the stamps from the from the chambers and then they burn charcoal on their own. Let me show you. So maybe this one here. This one he wants maybe to cut down this tree and make maybe a jembe or even a chair you see a tree like this so he cuts this maybe later on he'll remove the stump burn charcoal yeah you see he's been burning maybe charcoal here getting maybe the small pieces of charcoal and then using them uh to mold 
the shape. Wow, wow, wow. This is technology that I'm even scared myself that it's really fading away. You know, in my, you know, in our tribe, like the Korean tribe, we have those sub clans. So we have one called uh, Abaturi, which I'm, I'm from that tribe. And uh, this tribe is majorly known for shaping things. Uh, in uh, Korean language, Abaturi, or rather Umuturi, Umuturi now is a person, is a person, is like a blacksmith. Umuturi means a blacksmith, a, a man who shapes things. But for me, I never got to learn this technology, maybe from my grandfather or from anyone. But at least I'm happy to see one of my clan members that is proud of this technology and uh, is carrying it along. Wow. So this young man is now using the pressure to at least make the metal soft and then the bigger guy now will be molding it. Yeah. Are you Umuturi? Yeah. What did, what did you learn about the Abaturi people? The, you know what I know about the Abaturi people? Yeah. They only like meat. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a time I was told by my, my grandfather yes. that there's a time they tried to plant meat yeah, in, the farm. They are in the farm. Yeah. So you know, Baturi community like is quite different to those but, other communities. But you know, the real meaning of uh, umuturi is a blacksmith. Oh, yeah. Umutura yeah. is to shape. Oh, yeah. So that's why maybe we are born like that. So I think this is this was supposed to be our work. Oh, like yeah. we'll be making them shaping things. Yeah. yeah. So at least today I'm proud to see. I don't know umuturi. It's not. Yeah, here. Yeah. The real meaning of umuturi is someone who shapes. shapes the yeah. Umutura is yeah. to maybe shape a jembe, something like that, a panga. So this was supposed to be our work. But oh. unfortunately, <laughs> we have never learned. Yeah. You are you're the first person to tell me such a thing. So umutura is to shape something. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I think maybe uh, in the olden days, they used to make things like jembe, yeah, uh, pangas, yeah. and then now that technology faded away. And then, but I'm happy that at least today I've come one on one yeah. with them and I've seen what uh, maybe we will have learned from many of them. So, that's why I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I really wish maybe it was like a, a, like a, a big company. Yeah, a big company. Yeah. Maybe. For sure, you make your own yeah. fungus, yeah. you make your own yeah. jammies, yeah. Yeah. your own yeah. knives. You don't have to depend maybe on the industries. Yeah. Because if a guy like him maybe finds uh, enough help yeah. to just set up a... Instead of maybe using this technology to pressure, maybe you can get something that... Equipment. Yeah, equipment. Yeah. That, you know, the more pressure here, the quicker your fire becomes. Yeah. So that's why maybe in some movies you have been seeing, they use a lot of fire. fire yeah. yeah. So they, maybe yeah. there's something that lights up that fire. I know the metals are uh, become more of no, this fire burns the metal until it becomes red, yeah, completely yeah. red. Red. Wow. So there you see. Yeah, but this is a really great technology that I've launched today. And uh, I've even seen something as flat as this. You know, this one you see, it's uh, wide. Yeah. yeah. So it can really flatten yeah. into something. You see now this one is narrow. Yeah. Yeah. So this one can expand even up to here, maybe. Just this small one. And then yeah. up here is where now they make the head. Oh, this yeah. Is, yeah. You see? Yeah. Yeah. And they don't yeah. cut anything. <laughs> right. They just fold it. Eh? Right. I yeah. See. So so they they yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So there is uh he says that there's some metals we used to cut them. But you see guys, also this one here has been uh, bended. Yeah. They have bent it in a shape like this. So for you it's just to come with uh, maybe a tree, put it here, and you start weeding. And also there's a place here where they, they prepare the the, 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 the jambes. Yeah, the, the heads. Yeah. yeah. The last time also I came, I saw some guy there doing it. So 
because the metal is a little bit heavy it's taking now time to at least catch up the fire and then now we will uh, we will mold it I say too much good now to <laughs> is that thing because the fire is uh, on a metal, you're just asking yourself, does the metal, because it doesn't have gloves or yeah. anything, it must be very yeah. hot for sure, but I think there's a way they handle it. The way they handle Your hand becomes like a blacksmith. Yeah. Yeah. So let's check how he's uh, making our metal here, guys. You know you can't just hit anyhow. Yeah, you, you have to know to how you are hitting until now you find your desired shape. Oh, Sasa ni kulize ni kazi gani ngumu kabisa ni si ni kama hiyo hii ndio ngumu hii ndio ngumu sasa ya hii yeah. na hiyo yeah. na hii ya majembe so these are the hardest making this and also shaping that now into a desirable shape wow so hata visu unajitengenezea tu mwenye So these are the working tools he uses. Sometimes he gets broken pangas and molds them. Something like this. Yeah. You see now the one that we use in uh, in uh, peeling the cassava. Oh yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. So they they use it. And do they carve it? Now they carve it. You see the way it's already carved. Oh, yeah. So they just make it maybe sharp. Oh. Here and here. And then here now they make it the uh, round. Yeah, and then okay. now it's entered into a stick. So you just have to use like this. Okay. okay. Yeah. You see. You know nowadays there's no like the little people that they plant the plant cassava so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The olden you know, days. Yeah, the olden days. People used to plant one heck of cassava. cassava. Yeah. But nowadays people have measured into maize. Maize and everything. So these type of knives have uh, have really faded away. Apa going to go na kisu kama hii? Zimesha. Yeye ni mnatumia. Natumia. Eh. Pico. So I'm just trying I want to show them maybe how this knife looks like yeah, yeah. after it's already yeah. molded. So yeah. let me go ask the mom inside so that maybe she can show us this type of knife. Yeah, so this is the knife that I was talking about. Just went inside there and uh, asked the mom. So I don't know if we can find maybe a stick. Yeah. And then I show you how how it feels. So this one it's very sharp and this is handmade. There is a, uh, you did not buy it anywhere, they just made it here. And also, you see the type of stick that they have used, it's very light. This stick is not heavy. Then if you're carrying it like this, you don't feel the heaviness. Yeah. So, you know, cassava, you just hold it like this, and then you just peel. So, this one, guys, they just make it at home, just imagine. I'm just wondering if maybe, you know, maybe in advanced countries, something like this, you will have a machine maybe to shape yeah. your stick. Yeah, to shape yeah. stick. So that even you can sell thing like this, maybe 500. But yeah. yeah. But here it's this yeah. locally. This is just made. locally made, handmade. Yeah. So maybe the, if they had more technology, they just shape the the knife very well. Yeah. Maybe even write yeah. the company the name. Company, yeah. so maybe even in Kenya. Yeah. You see? And then people will be buying stuff like this. And also it's very, very sharp. Yeah. It's yeah. very sharp. Yeah. So we are waiting also for uh, our metal. It's still going on with uh, being uh, uh, burnt, yeah, so that it can become now red hot and then molded into the desired shape. Don't say it. Say it. I'm a watcher. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm going to come and tell you. So Nasa is trying to help. So this is the seat, natural. 
Here we don't nice. buy anything. <laughs> Everything here is nice. Here. Oh, lazima ni zibe hivi. Eh. Eh, lazima zibe. It's open. Oh, yeah. So you have to come. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tuna kupea ka chini. Una ponua. So when you pull it up, you have to open. Yeah, you open so that air, air can go in. And then now it's that air. But now you push. Yeah. See? See now how the fire is lighting. Okay. The technology that I've never seen guys. <laughs> so spend a day with me as a blacksmith here in the village. You can now relax. Yes. I can now relax. Yes. So you see guys, this is the technology. I believe this one they just shaped it on their own. Yeah. So they are using just uh, this paper bag here. And then now when you're pushing down, you cover like this. Yeah. You see? When you're pushing down, you cover so that no air passes. But when, when, you pull, yeah, when you pull, you open, open it so that you can fetch the air. Yeah. <laughs> and then you push it out. Wow, wow. This is uh, something very good that I'm learning. My friend, how are you? I'm so fine. You're so fine. Yes. What's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Mm. Are you also a blacksmith? Yes. You're a blacksmith? Yes. You're uh, the yes. brass. Oh, uh, for you, what do you know how to make? I don't know how to make, but. I just do it. You, you yeah. just watch. You are learning. You are still a student. Just learn to uh, how okay. to do that. Like, okay. like a knife, you can do it. Oh, you can do a knife. Yes. Oh. But this one now is very heavier. Yes. Okay. So this young man here says, for him, he can only do maybe a knife, because I believe a knife maybe is a, a li not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. After maybe the metal gets hot, it's easy for yeah. it to shape. So that's what he uses to catch the metal. Oh. So like it's too expensive. Can we say you move to the and lip and again? Up. Come up to the next level. Up. Ile ya garama can we say you want to the next angle? No, do you keep using no other person? Ni kama hizi. Kama hizi. Na kama haya majembe. Oh. Na kuna ingine ile kwa kwa ngombe hapo kwa shingo. Oh, Unatengeneza mpaka hizo. Eh. Ah. So Na I'm mkuki. just trying to ask maybe the Na mkuki. Au oh, unatengeneza ngombe kama mkuki? Eh. Ah. Mpaka mishale. Eh, mpaka mishale. Mishale unatengeneza? Eh. Ah. Mpaka mishale. So guys, I was just trying to ask maybe the most expensive uh thing that he charges maybe to make or uh, yeah he can charge maybe a customer like me so he says mostly it's a metal like this and uh jambes sometimes he can even make uh arrows you see because the arrows in front there they have they have a metal that is shaped because i believe there's no machine that maybe makes arrows here so it's uh, guys like him that shape them very very well and maybe make the sticks yeah so this is uh, also it's a good business. You can now start. I can, oh, I can now start lighting the fire. Okay, that's a hard one. <laughs> Show them how the fire is uh, lighting. You want to go out? Complete. Yes, 
Sasa complete yote ni pesa ngapi? Amesha ni sana. Ama sio ni kuna. Kumi ni mia ini. Guys, I'm telling him that uh, you know even for uh, our community, we are usually kind of hunters. Yeah, we usually treasure bows and arrows. So I'm just telling my friend here that I'll be paying him some money so that he can make for me at least even five arrows uh, plus the how is that thing called? What I need to do for English? What I need to do for English? Come on. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's called a bow. bow. Yeah, it's, that's why you say bow and arrow. Oh, yeah. So I want him to make for me a bow and, and arrow. some arrows, maybe like uh, five arrows. Yeah, so that maybe one day also we can come and uh, promote it. Yeah. 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 Today we are spending our day here as blacksmiths. It's not an easy job. Even my shoulders. It feels like uh, I'm working out. Some pressures. <laughs> You're amazing. Yeah, because even pushing like this, you really need to be satisfied and to be in a good shape. Wewe ndio chukua ta masaa. Mpaka iku. Hii. Hapo ni kama 30 minutes hapo. Na 30 minutes ni hii. Hapo ni 30 minutes. Hapo ni kama 30 minutes. So it says maybe it can take around 30 minutes for the whole exercise to be complete. Bega ya mechoke. My backbone is aching. <laughs> yeah, it's not an easy job. You know, pumping up and down. Uh, but it's a good thing that I've come here with uh, my friend. Who is the one that is here? Chacha. 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 Oh, what I mean, I don't have Chacha. I want to bend you, Gina San. So it's called uh, Chacha. We have also Ben Julius. Yes, he's a YouTuber. And uh, we are really... Yeah, we are like uh, in a class. Yeah, huh? we, are, we are learning here. Yeah, we are really yeah. learning. Yeah. And I really don't think if the entire Nyabohansi you know, community, there's a place that does this. Yeah, this it's there. only here. It's only here. Yeah. So we are, we are privileged. For sure. We're privileged. For sure. To have a blacksmith yeah. in our community. And also for me, I'm proud. Because, you know, uh, this young man here will keep this technology maybe for yeah. generations. For generation. Yeah. So he learned it from the grandfather. Also, he will teach maybe his kids. So at least now we'll keep uh, learning and learning and learning every single day. Maybe. And maybe days coming, maybe there will be that that kid that will come and invent it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. So that maybe you cannot be pushing like this. You can have maybe a machine a that machine you just that press, on press on and on. it uh, lights up the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or guys, if maybe you've ever seen a blacksmith, what kind of technology maybe do they use to make work, maybe easy, uh, things like those. Or if you're coming from a country that has blacksmiths, because I believe maybe some of you uh, know where swords maybe are made, yeah. maybe knives are made. So you can share kindly yeah, yeah. You can, uh, share with us yeah. so that we can understand maybe the technology, so that one day we can uh, also teach our friends. Red. Yeah. The metal nice pure red. Yeah. 
Let's play. Padahal kalian kado. This guy is asking how many times has uh, remained because he's also. Yeah, ini kan gumu. Ini gumu san. It's not an easy job. Kagumu kabisa. So what is it going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so he says this metal is a, a little bit heavy. You know, sometimes when you go to buy, maybe you look for the heaviest or rather the strongest, so that uh, maybe doing when well doing your job, it does not easily uh, break. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been uh, hitting after hitting after hitting the metal. Yeah, it's not an easy job. Uh, works like this really require a lot of muscles, a lot of uh, energy. But we are working out uh, with our metal here just to ensure it's been around 30 minutes. But uh, we are almost over, guys. We are almost over. Now it's the last touches. You know, first, because our metal was somehow like a pyramid, uh, he had to make it longer first before he turns the shape into a circular one so he, he we are still going on with uh pumping more water more fire into the metal just to make it a bit soft you know you have to burn it so that it becomes ah. somehow soft or rather yeah easy to mold so that's why now we are working tirelessly with it so it's the metal is still here in the fire so it's a uh, being Pressure, a lot of fire. Give me them. That boy. Ah, so that's good, dog. Eh. Now we leave the chicken and the chicken. Eh. So what? Are you going to do something with me? Oh. Chukwadi. Ina to. Oh, are you not sure? They are taking the chairs, they are using them in some church there. So that is the fire. And that is our friend there. almost taking shape guys so the work is almost over so they beba na moto ama utapoesha itapoa unaweka kwa maji ataonyesha tu kwa maji hiyo hiyo kwa maji tena nini tawasha taifani so just asking if we'll uh, carry it when it's still hot but he tells us that he will show us uh, the way that they use in cooling the metal after molding you know for example a customer maybe I need also to carry a cold, cold maybe metal. So he says he will show us. So this is the chair that I was talking about. Just handmade, guys. Handmade with the f just a tree. A tree was cut maybe somewhere, and then uh, someone took his time to just shape. So uh, unfortunately, I did not show you the chairs that we were sitting on. Everything here is handmade. Everything, the chairs, the pangas, everything that you see here is uh, handmade. So. I believe now we are almost done now with uh, our metal. So now that from tomorrow again we continue uh, uh, digging our borehole back at home. Yeah, 
we're almost over guys we've been uh waiting but finally now our metal has taken shape it's now in a uh, round shape as you can see yeah the initial shape has been uh has been done away with now we have uh, a round shape just like the one the the guy that has been drilling our borehole wanted so i can see also here they have some uh, cow skin yeah so this is uh i think forgot so this is the kind of paper bag that they are using you see this maybe this one was the older one it is torn now they changed into uh this one here so the technology behind this is just an open paper bag and uh, there's a hole here that passes the air into that space so when you pull up you fetch most of the air when you close like this uh ben julius they will yes. hold like this i show them yeah so, so when you pull like this you have not to close when you put it down yes, like, i've tried to train ben julius <laughs> but it has become impossible <laughs> yeah so maybe i still have the blacksmith blood inside me if maybe i was born in this place it will i will have become a very good uh blacksmith you never know but it has not been an easy job but at least i've simplified for him because i've been the guy that has been pumping the, the, air, the air you know when maybe find someone that cannot help he will pump like this and also after he's done he goes again and uh that's the heating yeah but for me say let me help as much as i can because this is something that i'm doing today it's the first time and i'm really enjoying it just enjoying the technology you know some people maybe might say people in the villages that maybe never went to school can't invent anything but when you look at our grandfathers they are very, they have very good minds yeah? something like this even a person who went to school maybe you can't invent invent a thing like this but through the knowledge that God gave them uh we're finding things easy so you chumuna the rudisha when you go there you go there you go there Tena tukikuja tena unaigonga na rudi venye ilikuwa. So I'm asking whether he can also return the metal to the initial uh shape that you brought. He says yeah he can. But because that is his kind of work. Yeah. So when he removes the metal there you now at least you rest yeah so he's now doing it i think now the last shaping and then now we'll be heading home to continue the work maybe tomorrow uh, so that we can because i'm very hopeful that maybe very soon we are going to find uh, maybe water at our home yeah so guys i hope you've really enjoyed uh, this video if you have kindly give the video a like and also drop a comment what you think about this kind of uh, technologies in the villages here that maybe in uh, some years to come maybe they might fade if we don't teach them to our children but i'm really happy that the grandfather got to teach this uh, young man here and uh, yeah he'll also continue teaching the the parents the brothers so this is what we use so this one here is pulled by a cow so this one is usually pulled by a cow so you just put your load here uh the cow now pulls from this place for example maybe if you go to a shamba and you get firewood you just put them here just look at how beautiful their home oh so yeah so this is how he's cooling the metal yeah so now this is how he's doing to cool. Ina ka hapo kwa muda kidogo. Kama dakika mbili tu. Oh. Unatoa iko baridi. Eh. Asa pole zimagile maji kutoka juu. Oh. Asio baridi ipo shaki. 
lakini ukimwagira maji kabla umetoa poka moto imagire yeah. maji yeah. <coughs> sasa wakati tunachimba huko kwa nini inapasuka oh ni jikunjo huko chini sasa inafona ipigiri hivyo chini mm. sasa inakaa kama dakika mbili mm. sasa naitoa na naenda nayo Ah. So he says now after you you remove your metal from the molding you have to dig uh, push it into the ground for maybe like 2 3 minutes and then you remove it in case maybe if you just remove it and pour water when digging it's very easy for it to bend so asante sana at least tumejifunza kitu wewe endelea kusaidia babu na wewe pia uendelee kujifunza hiyo technology sawa sawa haya thank you so much guys kindly also subscribe to ben julius sure, yes guys. yes you know it has been a very good experience yeah. that uh, it's it's not normal here in the village yeah. and we are so grateful and he has been a, a friendly guy he has taught us how to do like I've, I've, so, I've seen you trying to help him <laughs> yeah, yeah. pumping Pump. and which was quite difficult for me actually. Yes. So it's a very nice experience guys and I'm so grateful. So guys, this is my channel yeah, guys. This is uh yeah. Ben. Your subscribers are going down. I really don't know why <laughs> they <they're, they're laughs> are going down. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time I saw you at 520 something. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right now Ben Julius. But said, I, this is because of I I oh, I just a screenshot. Yeah, oh. it's a screenshot. This is not This is an old screenshot. Yeah, so yeah, now I'm wondering 502. And now I'm at 570. Oh yes. yeah. Ben Julius has 578. Kindly guys let's subscribe to his channel. Let's get him to 1000 subscribers yeah. and we'll really be grateful. So thank you so much guys. I uh, will be seeing you in our next video. Bye bye. bye, bye.